Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around May 10th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, people hear what I say, but they don't really hear it. Not every reading is for you, okay? Somebody commented on one of the readings, we'll see in two weeks. The reading may not be for you. You know, people didn't even hear me say that. So I just want to reiterate, sometimes the reading is for you, sometimes it's not. Um, I am getting a lot of requests for private readings, so apparently they resonate with a lot of people. Um, and I just need to let you all know that I do not plan on doing any private readings until fall. So that's the story, and... It is what it is. I, I don't have time. I barely have time to uh, go to the bathroom, let alone add private readings into my schedule. So, yeah, no private readings until fall. Uh, so, what do we got for a message for around the 10th? Keep in mind, the timing is fluid. And the Monday is a day of doing the rest of the uh, maze, you know. Uh, I didn't get to it today, it's Mother's Day, and uh, it's mother-daughter situation, and that's the way it goes. So, anyhow, what do we have for a message? And thank you for all the Mother's Day wishes that I got. What do we have for a message today? I guess this is it. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles. We have some sort of hardship here. It could be financial hardship. Um, somebody needs help. There's no financial success or there's a lack of financial success. Somebody has invested in something that may have prospered for a minute, but this season is over, the time is up, there's, there's no gain from it, there's no real gain. They may have put in more, you know, than they thought they were gonna, they put in more than, it's a loss, put it that way. It's a loss, it's not, it's not a profit. Okay, I do. I see financial struggle here, um, financial hardship, uh, lack of investment, lack of growth. Five of Pentacles is uh, not accepting help. There's help available, but not asking for help. Somebody needs help. They've invested in something that wasn't. started it wasn't started at in the right place you know what I mean there maybe it wasn't in the right location it wasn't the right location and now it's, it's time to stop thinking about it and probably go someplace else there's instability here insecurity financial instability or financial insecurity could be within a relationship as well but this is, this can also be um, some sort of ruin. Hmm. Ooh, it's interesting because I was going to say poor health and the star card is poor health as well. So this is unrealistic, dissatisfied, there's no growth. It's time to get some help. Somebody needs help. This could have to do with health. It could have to do with health. Um, why is this happening? Why? That, and that question may come up. Somebody needs, they need help. They do need help. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like there's a lack of faith or there's depression or there's despair, you know, uh, 
and there's depression if I didn't say it there's de why is this happening why this is happening because we have somebody here that is refusing to relocate or they're refusing to get help or to ask for help their, their pride is in the way they've invested in something that wasn't fertile and now and now they need they need some sort of counsel or they need some sort of help this is depleted this is this is totally depleted there is some sort of poor health here somebody may have gone overboard as well it's almost like they did something too much they went that's what going overboard is it's and it's interesting it's like they watered it too much or they did something too much they went overboard and now there, it feels like there's some sort of consequences for going overboard. We have a victim mentality here as well. We have somebody here that sees themselves as a victim. They uh, are wishing that they never invested in something or they never went down a path that they went down, but they are refusing to... Uh, do anything about it even though this is a dead end and I know I said dead end yesterday but the seven of pentacles reverse is a dead end this is dissatisfied totally dissatisfied this is unrealistic to invest in something where there is no growth where there's no opportunity there's no fertility it is time it is time to plant seed someplace else and to get help or to ask for help or to um, get some counsel but we have somebody here I feel like that is very prideful Anyhow, and then and then I hear the question, why, 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 why is this happening? It's happening because somebody is still investing in something that isn't going to bring them any success. We also have a loss of will here. You know, somebody has lost their will to... Uh, accept help I just wanted to keep saying help king of pentacles now the king of pentacles is somebody that is stable solid secure hard working this is somebody who has built themselves up very mature very wise this is an older individual who has a golden opportunity for somebody this person is uh, has a lot of wisdom behind their back and has been successful in the past, has built themselves up to success. I feel like we have a successful uh, business person or manager or boss or father or mother or whoever this person is that has some sort of opportunity for success. And I feel it, but I feel like we have an individual who needs to ask this person for help. But the King of Pentacles typically will require, uh, you know, this person looks stern, looks very, very stern, looks as though they are not just going to give anything away. This They will require whoever they're dealing with to get help, to come out of that victim mentality. I feel like we have a couple of beggars here as well. And I know this is a different story, but we have a king of pentacles here. This is, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody that is very financially stable. This is somebody who has a bank account and has money in the bank and has worked hard to obtain success. Obtain success. This person has uh, an opportunity or has the money or has... Uh, the opportunity to help and it feels like this is beggars I feel like we have somebody here that has uh, not taking care of their own business or they they have gone overboard maybe they've overspent or you know they were too fluid because I saw I said when I said watering it too much in my head I said fluid you know there was a lack of 
um, common sense. There was a lack of being grounded. Somebody was too fluid with their money. They went overboard and now they're having financial hardship and they may be begging this king of pentacles for a job or for money or for help. This king of pentacles um, is very, very um, set in their ways. I, I feel like this person has the, has the money or has the opportunity to help, but I feel in my gut that this person is a stern, very, very stern. It's hard. And this is what these people, whoever these two people are, maybe it's one person, I don't know. I feel like we have somebody that is headed towards this king of pentacles this and it could be two people could be a couple could be one person somebody is headed towards this person and they're asking for financial help so if you are the king of pentacles be prepared for somebody that has not made a wise choice and they invested in something that has not paid off and they're not getting their they're dissatisfied they're not they're not getting what they thought they were going to get and they're going to be asking for some money somebody's going to be asking for some money but it feels like this king of pentacles is holding on to their money i'm not sure this person is going to give it away because of the look on this person's face this is like i don't i don't know i don't know Eight of Cups reversed. Chariot. Yeah, I wanted to know why. So that's why I put it over there. Somebody's been partying. They've been playing. They've been socializing. They've been having fun. They've been partying too much. They've been uh, having too much fun. They've been having too much fun. And that's why they're struggling financially. This is a big, you know, uh, get to getting together, drinking, partying, engaging with others. I do believe we have somebody here that is really struggling. They are struggling with their money or they're struggling with a relationship. Could be either one. Uh, it could even be you know, trying to keep up with their friends, trying to impress their friends. Somebody may have been trying to impress their friends or their family, and now they're struggling big time. Eight of Cups is like, uh, Eight of Cups reversed. It could be somebody coming back around that has left. Pretending to be happy. Somebody has been pretending to be happy. Staying in a situation. They've been staying put. I feel like drinking is an issue here too. Some could have, Somebody may have a drinking problem. And they've gone overboard. Or partying. And partying can be... You know, all kinds of things. It could also be trying to, to impress friends. Spending money to impress friends. To impress your friends or your family. Anyhow, or the neighbors. You know, social pressure. Um, and there is social pressure here. Absolutely. Anyway, we have somebody here that is... Uh, the Eight of Cups reverse is pretending to be happy. Very, very superficial. We may also have an individual here that is uh, very solid, very wise, very independent, very hardworking, that has a lot of life experience behind their back, that is abandoning somebody that is not stable. You know, because here we have somebody, we have somebody here that is being led in the wrong direction. You know, they're, they're, being taken advantage of. Somebody has been taken advantage of by another individual, maybe used for money. There could be a third party situation here. You know, there could be. 
I feel as though we have somebody here that is moving on as well with that chariot card. They are, they are taking a new journey. They're going someplace. Maybe they're moving or, they're, or they have moved. There's some sort of uh, movement here. This is getting in the driver's seat and going someplace, leaving. And this could be leaving as well. I think we have somebody here that has been led in the wrong direction by an individual that took advantage of them. Maybe for financial reasons or because it was fun. You know, there was fun here. It was fun. And we and I feel like we have somebody here that uh invested in something because of their own victim mentality. They allowed themselves to be led in the wrong direction. It's time, I feel like that it's time to go someplace else with that Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is a dead end. There's no growth here. I think that we have somebody that is making a move. Okay, they're making a move. They're taking they're taking another path. They're leaving behind something that is unstable, that is insecure. They are I feel like they're no longer going to invest in an in unstable, insecure situation where they've been led down the wrong path. There's no satisfaction here. That's that, that's that song, I can't get no satisfaction, right? There's no satisfaction here. We have somebody here that is very dissatisfied in a situation. And I feel like it was fun. It was fun while it lasted, but time's up. Time's up. Somebody may be taking their money or their goods and running. Okay, they may be leaving, okay, because of that chariot next to that king of pentacles. The king of pentacles has the goods, right? This is somebody that has worked hard, really hard to build up their business or their success and, and has a lot of, lot to show for it. And I feel like this person has been taking advantage of somebody that, um, this person may have looked good. They may have looked good. They may have, uh, you know, been a lot of fun at one time. But I don't feel like it's fun anymore. And I think there's been a lot of pretending, a lot of pretending to be happy. It's been superficial. I see movement. Somebody may be packing up and moving. Seriously. With that chariot card, somebody could literally be packing their things and leaving. Whoever this person is that is doing so is uh, turning their back on, on, I think it's maybe, it could be a couple of individuals, but it could be one. They're turning their back on somebody that has a victim mentality. These, these, this person or these people don't really work or they don't invest in the relationship. You know, they don't nurture things. Um, and they may drink a lot. They could, there could be, we could have a drink, in, drink, or they cry a lot. You know, they could be, I mean, I'm just saying, it, it's either drinking or extremely emotional. You know, this, the, these people or this person may, may cry a lot. Um, I do see uh, movement here, getting in the driver's seat. Probably abandoning, abandoning uh, the investment. Yeah, it was fun and it and it was good while it lasted, but the season is over. We could be dealing with an Aquarius. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Cancer. I see a lot of um, thinking has happened. This person has been thinking about giving up on the you know, 
whole situation for a while now. They probably uh, have another opportunity for wish fulfillment. They probably have been ignoring that opportunity. I had the Four of Cups a while back on the bottom of the deck, and that's why I say that. I don't know if it's still there. Whoops. No. But we got the Ten of Swords, and I just looked. So this is the death of a situation. So it is the end of a situation. We have somebody here that is... Uh, it's over. This is goodbye. It is goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye to, a, to, I don't know if it's two people or one person. They allowed themselves to be taken advantage of by somebody that probably, I feel like this person looked really good. This person appeared to be wish fulfillment. But I feel like this person is a partier or they are a drinker or they are a cheat. This could be a cheater. You know, this is somebody that is very social and uh, maybe they get, they allow themselves to be, uh, maybe the, well, the, the third party situation could be their parents, their friends, their family, their their children, another person. I feel like we have a, somebody that has allowed another person to get in the way of a successful growth of a partnership. You know what I mean? Anyhow, um, why is this happening? I feel like something hasn't grown because there's somebody it hasn't grown because of maybe a third party or because of drinking or something like that. There is a goodbye here. We have somebody here that is very uh, wise, intelligent, smart, that is making a decision that has been thought about. This person has thought about it. They have definitely thought about it and they're done thinking about it. I feel like they're dealing with somebody who has drained them financially whoever they're dealing with that can't really pay. You know what I mean? They don't have any money or something like that. Anyhow, I do see movement here. I see getting in the driver's seat, packing up, leaving, taking the high road, uh, facing the opposition, replacing that fear with faith, and going in a new direction. So I do have some, and this is headed towards success, headed towards victory. We have somebody here that is leaving behind a, or people, it could be a person or people that, don't have anything to offer them and this this is like turning back turning your back on the conflict turning your back on the competition it's um, been thought about tell, tell you that it's definitely been thought about this is not what I asked for this is not what I thought it was this was it appeared to be wish fulfillment. It appeared to be a blessing. It appeared to, it was beautiful when it happened or whatever. But now there's no growth. There's no growth. There's no financial stability here. So anyway, I do believe that a decision is being made to move in a new direction. This is somebody that is, is very, very strong. That is finding their self-discipline to take the lead of their, in their own life. It's like, you know what? I want success. We have somebody here that wants financial success. They want to have a comfortable home. They want to have a comfortable life. And the only way to do that is to not let themselves be taken advantage of by an individual or individuals that won't get help for themselves or won't help themselves or won't help with the finances or whatever. It takes two it takes two to build a relationship or a partnership, not one. I feel like we have some sort of consequences here. I feel like we I feel like we have uh, a couple that uh, has been struggling with finances and one person has been pulling all the weight. And I feel like there's going to be, you know, 
somebody that leaves. And it could be leaving a job or leaving a home. The Three of Cups is a celebration, but that's in the past. This is a lot of fun in the past. It was a lot of fun. Boy, it was great. But it's not fun anymore with that star card in reverse. It's not. There's financial hardship. I think we have somebody here that has, is getting grounded. They go, they go from this fluid, fun, oh, this is so great, to reality. This is a reality check. So, yeah, I feel like there is some sort of, this is, the chariot is a card of transformation, change. So, yeah, I, I see a change here. I, I feel like we have somebody who has been thinking about leaving. They've been thinking about it for a while. They probably have another opportunity for success right in the palm of their hands. And they, I don't know, it feels like they haven't taken any action because they've been thinking. This is the King of Pentacles isn't somebody who jumps. This is somebody who thinks before they act. So I do believe that we have a very wise, mature individual that is making a decision in regards to their success. And it probably probably requires uh, walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation where there is financial instability and they have been taken advantage of by an individual who has nothing to give. Good luck. And I feel it may start from this person or people asking for more. You know, they may ask for more. They need money for this. They need money for that, you know. That could be, you know, the Ten of Swords can be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Okay? It can be. So this could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. So I do believe that there is some sort of financial situation that is happening that is going to cause a major ending because that's what the Ten of Swords is. Good luck.